Ford Ranger. I suspect an EGR leak, so I'm going to do a smoke test up the exhaust to see if it is leaking. So you literally just squeeze that and then to release the pressure you twist that. That would go in there. I'm going to connect that to the machine. Make sure that's tight. The downside to this is you get a very short cable. It's probably not designed to go up the exhaust, hence the short cable. It's all to do with the boost pipes for a leak detector inside the engine bay. because the battery's right there, so you don't need a long cable. Be careful with the positive, because if you touch the body with the other end now, the body is earthed and it can spark. For example, if I were to touch that now, so be careful. Finest baby oil. So here we go, we're starting to see the smoke. Connect them two together. Like so. And that's throwing smoke up the exhaust. Whilst that's filling up, I'm going to take this off and see if there's any smoke that comes out. Okay, I've just come back to the car after about three minutes and there's plenty of smoke coming out of the throttle body there. It's coming out at quite a rate. So that would indicate to me that there is a EGR leak that's coming through into the inlet manifold. As we can see it down there. So there's the EGR valve, I suspect that's slightly open which is allowing the gases to run through here, up here, into here and then it would normally go into the inlet manifold but obviously I've taken this off and it's coming out of throttle body. So there's clearly an issue with my EGR valve as that should be shut. 
now I've identified the issue that the EGR valve is slightly open and it's leaking, I will now need to fit the blanking plates. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe and I will be posting the video of installing the blanking plates very soon.